Hello and welcome to the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel. Today I wanted to practice setting up an emergency style plow point shelter. In my opinion, in the conditions of high winds or heavy rains, a plow point shelter may be the best option as because of its shape, it does a good job of cutting the wind and it gives you a little more coverage being a two-sided shelter than say a lean-to, which I covered in the last video. It's a very simple process, very quick. I'm gonna time it just for fun. Stick with me and let's get started. The kit that I'll be using to construct this emergency style plow point shelter today is the 5x8 Survivor Series tarp from Etowah Outfitters. You could substitute any emergency style tarp, whether it be the grabber space blanket, which I used in my last video, or whatever tarp that you had. I have four ABS plastic stakes, which I'll use in the construction of the shelter. I also have approximately a seven foot hank of 550 paracord, which I'll use to attach to my tree. And all of these items can easily be stored in a simple bag, such as this Hidden Woodsman uh, coffee style bag. It's a very simple kit for a very simple and quick shelter. All right, let's set this plow point shelter up. I believe that says 113 so just over a minute so I did want to give you just a quick look around of the shelter so you can see it in its entirety you see right now I've got this kind of lifted up off the ground it's very hot out here and airflow circulation is very important in a shelter so that kind of gives you a little airflow down from the ground so you have it attached here to the tree with that seven foot piece of paracord I just toggled it off with a tent stake and a marline spike hitch it's attached to the tree with a bowling loop very simple setup and then staked out on all three corners just to pull the tarp taut and it gives you nice coverage and even here where this comes down the line and meets the stake that'll give you a drip line and this extra cordage just hanging down here is very easy to just put like a toggle in that or a loop and that'd be a prime place to hang like a candle lantern or whatever you wanted to hang there to cast light into your shelter in the dark the way i'm attaching my loop to the tree is i have a simple bowline knot at one end of my cordage i take that knot around the tree and run the working end back through the loop, just cinching that down to the tree. Now that I have my cordage attached to the tree, it's very simple to bring my tarp up and attach it as well. You can see that on this corner, I have attached a loop of number 36 bank line, just to give me a larger loop to run stakes or guy lines and things like that through. I have done all four of the corners like this to make this faster and easier. I simply pull my paracord through move that out of the way and now I'm going to take a bite in the cordage just like that just a simple loop and I'm going to fold that loop up onto and the key is fold up onto my line you can see what that creates and I'm going to pull that line through creating a new pocket just like that hopefully you can see it very clear now I'm going to take my toggle or my stake and insert it in that pocket and when I pull down tight that will cinch and the nice thing about that is it's holding my tarp nice and tight, but at the time that I want to release it, I simply pull the toggle out, 
and it's quick detach. This is an excellent technique that I picked up from Dave Canterbury while teaching class at the Pathfinder School. So I've relocated this camera just so you could see the shelter from a different angle. You were looking at it before from this open area and that can be deceptive on camera and make it look more open than it really is. You can see just how much I'm able to get up under here and be sheltered from any weather that might be occurring. But this does a really good job of covering you and it's very uh, comfortable shelter that can be constructed in a very quick period of time. All right, so whatever your preferred method of an emergency style shelter, be it a lean to, a plow point, or some other type of shelter, the key is repetition, practicing it and developing that muscle memory. Just like I mentioned in the last video, in an emergency, we don't think as clear and under stress, sometimes we fumble. Just repetition and practice will lead to muscle memory, which will lead to less stress for you if you ever really need this skill. Again, setting up an emergency shelter is something that hopefully you never really need, but it's important to know, it's an important skill to own, and definitely worth the time to train. I appreciate your interest and your support. I hope to be talking to you with another video in this shelter series again very soon. And until the next one, take care and God bless.